So Apple came out with iOS 26 style glass icons and it became quite popular. A lot of folks wanted to generate their own glass style icons and Apple called it liquid glass and it is used across the latest iOS 26. So a lot of different areas within the iOS is going to be using this liquid glass. So I thought how about we can build something similar in Langflow. So that's where the idea of glassy icons came into play. Basically you can describe your icon. Now in this case I'm going to say Instagram and in case if you have an image that you'd like to add something that's not very popular you could upload that as well and then you can choose a background and once you select your background you can hit the generate glass icon it's going to take a few seconds so if you want to play some games over here you could do that and while you wait for it probably going to be 30 to 35 seconds or so and you'll have your response back great i got the response back and this looks beautiful and if you want, you could download this or you could share this with anyone. And the key aspect of this icon is the translucent feel that you would get with liquid glass. So the question is, how can you build something similar? So first thing you're going to do is you can actually build a simple flow in Langflow. And as you notice, this is just a chat input block that goes into an OpenAI editor and also an image file. So what's happening is I am saying that I want to generate a coffee mug in this style and the style that I am providing is from the image file. I uploaded an example image and the way I got the example image is through ChatGPT image generation. So I just asked it to mimic one of the icons from iOS 26 and it helped generate the icon. I took this image, I uploaded in our flow and now this is going to be the reference for any of our generations. So anything that you as is going to be sent along with the image to our OpenAI component and with an OpenAI component not much happening pretty much it's sending the image over to the GPT image one model and this is a custom component I took the original code from the built-in OpenAI component I asked one of the code editor in this case I use Claude and asked for it to modify so that we can call the GPT image one model and that's what it did it pretty much took the built built-in component added a little bit of code and now we have this particular component where it sends to the GPT image one model and returns back data in a base 64 format so that is the format that I am using as the next step so as you notice I wanted it to be in a format that I can send to my UI now once I got the basic setup what I did is I went to the API access I copied the URL so in this case this is the local host but if you have a deployed version of Langflow you might see a different URL so you're gonna take that URL along with the parameters and one easy way is to go to the curl command and in here you can copy all of this and then provide this to any of your favorite vibe coding tool one tip is that if you like to send additional images to this particular component you can can either copy the component ID from here or you can actually trigger that within the API access so here you can go to tweaks and within the image file you can either add some sort of separator or so and what it does is it opens this particular tweak so you are going to copy the curl with the tweak and then send that over and then use that within your curl command and basically this helps you send additional image files so same thing with any other component if you want to send any tweak tweaks for that particular component you can either copy the id of the component and add it yourself in the tweak or you can actually add it from the api access now you can provide the curl command along with the response to any of the vibe coding tools and ask them to help build the application now this is an example of something i built earlier where i provided the curl command as well as the response and with that it helped me generate the initial iteration as well as all of the code here 
easier for the application. Now I usually start with something like bold or unlovable to help me get the initial UI set up. Then later on, I either download the code or I integrate with GitHub so that I can pull that in within cursor or windsurf. Now within local IDs, we have finer control on what all we can tweak. Now that's where I provide agent context about the repo and as for fixing things or update the UI or so. And that's where pretty much everything in here was generated using Vibe coding. So that's where I asked the agent to first test the basic minimal setup, which is if I were to provide a prompt here and send that over to our flow within Langflow, is that gonna work? So that worked out nice. So using that information, then I asked agent to add a few different background styles. And now what happens is along with the prompt, we are actually sending the gradient color value to generate an image that is going to be using that background. And the way the prompt looks like is we are actually sending the value for the color saying use these colors and maintain a certain aspect ratio and also no text or labels. So just to let the OpenAI model know these are going to be some of the constraints. Now, if you recall, there wasn't a prompt given to the the initial flow it worked completely fine but I wanted the application to be robust so we can actually send something like gradients along with the icon request from the user so the prompt as well as the reference image is used now to generate the final response and that's where I was able to get these consistently nice looking liquid glass based icons now this is of course a sample application, but it should give you an idea how you can build pretty much anything using the Vibe coding tools along with the backend API with Langflow, where all of the heavy lifting for the AI setup is done by Langflow and your application can handle any of the X for the users. And with that, hopefully you build amazing AI based applications. Feel free to try glassy icons. It is at this URL. And if you'd like to use a similar flow, let us know in the comment section and we will provide you the link to the flow.